In this video, we are going to talk about plugins. Now, plugins, if you remember, are what add all the functionality to your website. So if you want to do anything from adding a contact form, a subscribe box to your sidebar, or even a full shopping cart to sell products, a WordPress plugin will help you add that functionality to your website. And oftentimes you can do this without any coding. There are a couple of places that you can go to find plugins. First, by just doing a Google search, you'll be able to find practically any functionality you can possibly dream up. You can also visit the WordPress plugin directory. And as you can see, there are over 37,000 plugins available right now. So you have tons of options to choose from. Here they have, you can search through the featured plugins or popular plugins, but you can also just do a search for what you're looking for. Let's say I want to add a pricing table to my website so that I can display my web design packages. I can simply do a search and this brings me up lots of results. So now when looking at plugins, there's a couple of things that you want to look at. First, you can look at just the brief description and see if that sounds like what you're looking for. You also want to look at the ratings for each plugin. So you'll see here this one has only three stars, where the following one has four and a half stars. You'll see this has been rated 55 times, and the next one has been rated 67 times. So they should be fairly accurate. You can see both of them have 10,000 active installs, meaning that's how many websites are currently using this particular plugin. If I go down, this one has a five star rating, but only one person has rated it, and there's only 100 websites using it. Doesn't mean it's a bad plugin, it could just mean that it's a newer plugin, but it's all something you want to look at. You also want to look at when it was last updated, so you can see if the developers are keeping up with WordPress as it changes. This one was three weeks ago, one month ago, three months ago, so these are relatively up-to-date plugins. But you can continue to scroll down and see what all of your options are. So let's say this particular one catches my eye. It's a responsive pricing table. The image looks like something I may want to add to my website. It's got four and a half stars with 17 ratings. 6,000 websites are using it, and it was updated six days ago. Great, looks good. So I can click in. So this gives me a full description of what the plugin does. Now, a lot of plugins are free, and of course there are paid plugins. So a lot of times a free plugin will give you certain features and if you want additional features then you have to upgrade to the pro version but there are tons of free plugins that will offer everything that you need you can also go into screenshots and this is where you'll be able to get a better idea of what this looks like so this looks like it would be pretty neat to display your web design packages what the prices are what's included and give buttons for people to sign up so let's say this is a plugin you decide you would like to add to your website there's two things that you can do. You can click on the download button and go ahead and download this zip file. You'll see it's going to give you a zip file that you can download to your computer. The next thing is to take the name of the plugin. I'm going to go ahead and just copy it here to make it easy. Responsive pricing table. I'm going to return to my dashboard and I can go to my plugins menu and click add new. Now there's two things you can do. If you downloaded that zip file, you can click on Upload Plugin, and you'll be able to choose the file off of your desktop and click Install Now, and you're done. But going back to Add New, I can also search. When you search for something in this box, you are searching the WordPress plugin directory. So you can also just do the search from here without having to go to the standard, standard website. Now you'll see it pulls up my result. Here it is right here. I can click Install Now. It gives me this message. I click OK. And just as quickly as the theme, it's installed. I click Activate Plugin, and the plugin is now installed.